Hi everyone, welcome to the IoT Projects Ideas. In this video, I will explore the basics of TDS sensors and practical applications of water quality monitoring systems. We will start by interfacing a TDS sensor with an Arduino board to monitor TDS, EC, and water temperature displaying the readings on an LCD display. Next, we will take it a step further and build an advanced IoT based system. This system will utilize TDS sensors, DS 18V20 temperature sensors, an ESP32 board, and the Arduino IoT cloud. To ensure accurate readings, we will incorporate an ADS 3.15 16-bit ADC module and a 0.96-inch OLED display. As the ESP32 is built in ADC voltage can be inaccurate, we will use the external ADS 3.15 ADC module for improved accuracy. So without further delay, let's get started. First, we will create a system to monitor water quality using a GDS sensor. DS 18B20 temperature sensor and a 16 cross 2 LCD display. The system will measure TDS, EC value, and temperature. Then display the readings on the LCD display. Components required Arduino Nano, you can use UNO board as well. TDS sensor DS 18V20 temperature sensor with terminal connector. 16 cross 2 I2C LCD display. Jumper wires and breadboard. Circuit assembly. Connect the TDS sensor, DS 18V20 sensor, and LCD display to the Arduino board as per the circuit diagram shown in the video. Make sure all the connections are secure and the components are properly powered. Program code Copy the program code from the link provided in the video description. Open the Arduino IDE and upload the code to your Arduino board. Make sure to save the necessary libraries and define the pin connections correctly. The detailed explanation of program code, including circuit diagram, can be followed on IoT Project's IDS website. Power off the system and observe the readings displayed on the LCD. Dip the sensors into water and see how the readings change in response to the water quality. You can try adding salt to increase EC value. Now, let's move into the IoT part of the project. Here, we will create an advanced water quality monitoring system using TDS sensors, DS 18V20 temperature sensors, ESP32 and Arduino IoT cloud. The system will measure TDS, EC and water temperature, then send the data to the cloud for remote monitoring. Components required ESP32 board, TDS sensor, DS 18V20 temperature sensor, OLED display, ADS 3.15 16-bit ADC, jumper wires, custom PCB garber file provided in description, circuit assembly, connect the TDS sensor, DS 18V20 sensor, OLED display and ADS 3.15 ADC to the ESP32 board as per the circuit diagram shown in the video. Optionally, use the custom PCB for a neater and more reliable setup. To assemble the components for testing, you can use a breadboard. However, for a more reliable and professional solution, I recommend using a custom PCB. I have already designed a custom PCV specifically for this project. 
Download the Gutter file for the custom PCB from the link provided in the video description. Once you have the Gutter file, you can place an order for the PCB from PCBWay.com. PCBWay offers affordable prices and provides high-quality PCB manufacturing services. Visit PCBWay.com. Click on Instant Code tab. Click on Quick Order PCB. Then, upload the order file of the PCB design to their website. Select the desired specifications for your PCB, such as the number of layers, board thickness, and copper weight. Choose any additional options you require, such as surface finish and solder marks color. Proceed to checkout and make the payment using the available payment options. PCBWay will manufacture your custom PCB according to the provided design and specifications. Once the PCB is ready, it will be shipped to your specified address. Setting up the Arduino IoT Cloud is the next step in the process. Follow these instructions. Go to the Arduino Store and click on IoT Cloud. Create a thing by clicking on Create Thing and give it a name, such as IoT Tedious Meter. To create a variable, click on Add Variable. Name the variable Tedious and select the floating point number as the variable type. Set the variable permission to read only and click Add Variable to create it. Repeat the process to add two more variables issue value and temperature with the same configuration as the previous variable. Configure a device by selecting the device option. Choose a third-party device, specifically the DOIT ESP32 DevKIT V1 module. Give the device a name like TDS Major and proceed. Note down the device ID for later use. Set up the network credentials by providing your SSID, password, and secret key created earlier. With this setup complete, move on to designing web and mobile dashboards. Access the dashboard and provide a name for it, such as IoT TDS Meter. It goes widgets to display the temperature, TDS, and issue values. Name the widgets accordingly and link them to their respective variables. Additionally, add chart widgets and link a tedious variable. Configure the widgets for the desired arrangement and resizing to fit the web and mobile dashboards. With these steps, the Arduino IoT Cloud dashboard will be set up, allowing you to monitor the TDL's value, EC value, and water temperature from anywhere in the world. Now go to the Things tab and click on IoT TDS Meter. Then click on the Sketch tab. Copy the program code from the website. Then select all codes from your sketch and then paste it. Step-by-step -step source code or program explanation can be followed on IoT Project's IDEAS website. Apart from the code part, we need to upload the code. But before that, we need to install an agent to flash the code directly from the browser. Follow the instructions on your screen to install the agent. Once the driver is installed, the COM port will appear. Then, select the DOIT ESP32 DevKIT V1 board from the list and the COM port as well. Then, long press boot button on ESP32 when you see the upload start message. It will take some time to upload the code, and when it's done, so upload success message will appear. Once the code is uploaded to the ESP32 board, it will attempt to connect to the provided Wi-Fi network. After stabilizing a connection, it will begin reading the TDS, EC, and temperature values from the sensor. 
You can monitor this values by opening the serial monitor. The temperature sensor is responsible for providing the water temperature. If the TDS sensor is not in contact with water and remains dry, it will display a TDS and EC value of 0. This information can be observed on the OLED screen. When both the temperature sensor and TDS sensor are submerged in water, the OLED display will present the TDS, EC, and temperature values of the water. It is important to note that adding more salts to water will increase its electrical conductivity, resulting in a significant rise in the water's EC value. This indicates higher salt content in the water. You can also monitor the same data on the Arduino IoT Cloud Web Dashboard as well as an Arduino Remote Mobile application. Now, you can tap on the device and start monitoring the parameters remotely from any part of the world. In conclusion, this project demonstrates the monitoring of water quality using a TDL sensor, temperature sensor, and ESP32 board. By measuring parameters such as TDLs, EC, and temperature, we can assess the purity and conductivity of water. The data can be conveniently displayed on an OLED screen and monitored remotely through the Arduino IoT Cloud Dashboard. This project provides valuable insights into water quality and can be further enhanced for various applications. Thank you for watching this tutorial on water quality monitoring systems with different microcontrollers. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting IoT projects. Stay tuned for our next video.